and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is Jar of Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. And today I'm going to be cooking up my favorite crock pot meals. That's right, folks. In today's video, I will be cooking up four of my favorite crock pot meals to share with all of you. These meals will be kosher and they will be gluten free. They are generally all adapted from something that I found on the internet and I will put the recipes in the description box below as well for you. I don't generally cook the crock pot meals all year round, but now that it's cold out, like the crock pot is coming out. So <laughs> I'm excited to share these with you today. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I do whenever I do a crock pot recipe is I grab one of these plastic crock pot liners. You can leave these in here the whole time that you're cooking and it just makes cleanup such a breeze. Of course, this particular crock pot liner that I grabbed is the slightly wrong size for my crock pot. So uh, that's okay. I do eventually get this to work, but you get the basic idea and you can buy these at just a regular grocery store. Okay, so here I am sitting in my study editing this video like in the future from when I was filming just now and I realized I didn't introduce the dish that I am about to make. So I'm popping in to do that now. And the dish that we are about to be making for the first crock pot recipe in this crock pot recipe video is a chicken pot pie soup. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes, it is as good as it sounds. This is an adaptation of a recipe from the Better Homes and Garden magazine can't remember what issue, but it's one that I got last year sometime. And it has just, it. I made it because it looks so good. It jumped right into the rotation with us. So, all right, without further ado, let's gather our ingredients and put this dish together. All right, to start this recipe, we're going to need some celery, some carrots, an onion, and some fresh thyme. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start chopping up the carrots and the celery and the onion so that that will all just be prepared and then I will gather the rest of our ingredients. Okay, next up, I'm going to start preparing my chicken. I just grabbed three frozen chicken breasts from a bag of chicken breasts that I had in the freezer. You could also just do this with whatever one package of chicken breast from the store. This honestly, I think because these chicken breasts were a little big, my soup ended up being like very chickeny. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad thing. I enjoyed it. We all loved it, but it was more chicken than I think I would have normally liked. So I would say either two large chicken breasts or just like one regular package of like three smaller chicken breasts. Okay, so once I had those chicken breasts cut up into kind of bite-size-ish pieces, I got a big Ziploc bag and I added in half a cup of gluten-free flour and then a generous sprinkling of poultry seasoning. I'm just kind of mixing that together there with my hands. And now I'm going to add all of the chicken inside of that bag and then mix that all together to coat the chicken in that gluten-free flour and poultry seasoning mixture. All right, so now I'm just grabbing some canola oil spray and I'm gonna coat the pan with that. And then I'm going to add all of those chicken pieces there into the pan and just cook them till they're just kind of browned there, cooked on the outside. This will help hold all of the moisture in the chicken because it will be cooking for a, a bit there on the crock pot. I cooked the chicken in two batches so that it wasn't overcrowded there with the chicken in the pan. Okay, now that prep work is done, it's time to start putting things into the crock pot. Starting off with the chicken, I just went ahead and added that into the crock pot. And then I'm going to add in all those vegetables that I had chopped up earlier. Okay, now I am grabbing one box of chicken broth. This equals four cups of chicken broth, and I'm just going to add that into my crock pot. Okay, and now we are ready to plug in and turn on the crock pot. I am going to be cooking mine on high for three to three and a half hours. You could also cook this on low for six to seven hours. Here is that second batch of chicken that I pre-cooked there on the stove. All right, now I'm just gonna give that a little stir before I put the lid on and just let that go for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now that's just gonna sit back there in the crock pot for about three to three and a half hours. And then I can come in and uh, work on the last little bit of that and get it ready to eat. All right, I have moved the crock pot down to the low setting and now I'm gonna add in a cup of soy milk and a quarter cup of gluten-free flour, which I'm gonna mix together before I add that in. And that's gonna help thicken that up a little bit and I'm gonna let that sit there on low for 30 minutes and then we'll be ready to eat. So if you are not keeping kosher, you could just do a cup of heavy cream instead of using the soy milk uh, as a dairy replacer so that I can make this a kosher recipe, I have found the soy milk to work very well. All right, so once I have got that mixed together, I'm just gonna add that directly into the crock pot and give that a little stir just to kind of mix everything up. And this thickens up almost immediately, which is fantastic. Okay, so the very last thing that I am doing is adding peas. So I am using a can of peas. If you're using frozen peas, you're gonna to wanna to let this sit for about another 30 minutes to cook those peas. I'm just using a can of peas, so all I had to do was mix those in and we were good to go. So my soup ended up really thick this time. I don't know if you can tell that in this video. I personally don't mind and I left it that way, but if I wanted to, I could have just added some more chicken broth or even water and that would have added to the soup to thin it out a little bit and then also to get me more soup. But I liked it this way. It was kind of like a stew and that was quite tasty. And that is our first recipe, chicken pot pie soup. Don't go anywhere, more recipes to come. Good morning, we are back with a new day and I'm cooking a new crock pot meal. I have to say that that uh, chicken pot pie soup was so good and I ended up with a bit of leftovers for myself for the next day for lunch. So that was pretty exciting for me to like not have to make lunch. Leftovers are the best. Okay, so anyways, today we are going to be making sort of my rendition of a Santa Fe chicken recipe that I found online. I originally found this recipe online years and years and years ago and I've just sort of adapted it here and there over the years for our family and that's what I am going to show you guys today. Okay, so let's pop over by my crock pot and I will show you the ingredients that you are going to need. This, by the way, is probably my favorite recipe that we are making and it's also probably the easiest because it's one of those where you literally just dump everything in the crock pot and then leave and that's how I like to cook. Okay so I've already got my crock pot over here ready with a liner inside of it. I like to cook with those liners because it makes the mess so much simpler. So I've just got one package of chicken breast, a bunch of cilantro, I've got a can of these green chilies, an onion, a package of taco seasoning. You can also just use from a container also. There's some chicken broth back here. This box has four cups of chicken broth in it. And then it's a can of diced tomatoes, a can of black beans, and a can of sweet corn. So what I am going to do is just chop the onion, clean and chop the cilantro, add everything into the crock pot, and then just place the chicken on top. And then we're good to go. absolutely love how easy the prep work is for this particular meal. Uh, once that cilantro and onion are chopped up, all you're doing is dumping your cans into the crock pot. Now, one thing I did do though is with my black beans, I did rinse those off and drain them before I put them into the crock pot. So that's why they're coming out of a strainer instead of a can. But everything else I just dumped straight in. Okay, once I've got all those ingredients into the crock pot, which is everything except for the chicken, I'm just gonna stir all of that together, and then I will place the chicken directly on top. Okay, I forgot to add the taco seasoning, so you should have done that earlier before you mixed all of the canned ingredients together. But anyways, I'm pulling my chicken back out now to add that taco seasoning, stir that up together, and then I'll just put my chicken right back on top. Okay. 
Okay, so that's just gonna sit there on low for the next eight hours. And a little bit before it is ready, I'll pull the chicken out, shred it, and make some rice to go along with. So I will check back with you guys in about eight hours. Okay, so it's about seven hours later right now and I'm ready to finish this up. So what I'm gonna do is put some rice on the stove and just get that going. And while that's going, I'm gonna pull the chicken out of the crock pot and shred that and then add it back in, mix it all together, serve it on top of the rice and dinner is served. So let's throw those last finishing touches together and eat dinner. And that is dinner tonight. It was super delicious. The taco seasoning made it like a little bit on the spicy side, but every time my kids were like, this is a little spicy, I'd be like, no, it's a little flavorful. And they ate it, so it was all good. And yeah, it fed everybody, and I have enough leftovers to feed us for an entire another meal tomorrow. So that's fantastic. That means lunch is taken care of tomorrow. And yeah, I mean, where else can you get three pieces of chicken to equal a meal for family of five twice? I love shredded chicken. Anyways, so that is dinner tonight and don't go anywhere because I'll be back shortly with another crock pot meal. And we are back and I've got another crock pot recipe to share with you guys today. Today we are going to be making orange chicken. Now this orange chicken recipe is supposed to be like Panda Express. However, it has been so long since I have had Panda Express, if I have ever had Panda Express, that I really can't vouch for any similarities. So if you make this at home, let me know if this is like Panda Express orange chicken. This recipe is super fantastic for a couple of reasons. One, I can make it with just a package of chicken and stuff I've got in the pantry, which I love because I can do this without planning ahead too far. And the second reason that I really love this recipe is because it only takes four hours in the crock pot. And that means that if I can't get it together in the morning and I don't really start thinking about this until around lunchtime or if I've just had a really slow or bad morning or whatever, I can still make dinner in the crock pot because I can start it here around lunchtime. So <laughs> we've just finished eating lunch now. We're getting on towards one o'clock. Since we like to eat around five, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one started now. All right, let me show you what we need and we'll get this recipe in the crock pot. Okay, so the ingredients that we need for this recipe is a package of chicken breast, some soy sauce, I'm using the La Choy brand because that is gluten-free, a jar of orange marmalade, some sesame oil. This is salt back there. And then we've got some cornstarch, some ground ginger, minced garlic, and rice vinegar. All right, let's put all this together. Okay, so to prep my chicken, I am just going to cut it into bite-sized pieces. I've already trimmed off any extra fat and things like that that I could find there on the chicken breast. Once I've got that all chopped up, I'm just gonna add some cornstarch there on top and then coat those little pieces of chicken in the cornstarch and also with a little bit of salt. Once that chicken is ready, I can go ahead and put that into the crock pot and get started on my sauce. Alrighty then, to make the sauce, you are going to want one cup of orange marmalade, a quarter cup of soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of ground ginger, 
and the equivalent of about two garlic cloves that have been minced. You could totally use fresh garlic cloves also. It'd probably be better. All right, but once you've got all those ingredients in there for your sauce, go ahead and just stir that together. And once you've got that well mixed, add that into your crock pot with the chicken and then give that a little stir just to make sure that you have every piece of chicken coated with the sauce. All right, and that is it. It is ready to go. It's on low. It's gonna be there for about four hours. So I will turn the camera back on again here around five o'clock when we are ready to eat our dinner. Okay, so it's just about five o'clock right now. So I'm ready to get dinner on the table. I just wanna make some rice first because I'm gonna serve this dish with rice and that'll be it. Super simple dinner. So I'm gonna throw together that rice and get this on the table. This recipe was a really big hit with the kids and my husband particularly loved the sauce. He said that we should just make the sauce in the crock pot and add it to chicken that we have deep fried, which I think would also be a delicious way to adapt this recipe. Hope you all enjoyed. See you in a moment with another crock pot recipe. All right, and we are back with the fourth and final recipe for this video that I'm putting out for you guys today. All right, so today we are going to be using the crock pot to make chicken soup. Okay, now this is a recipe that I have never done before in a crock pot. So I am excited to see how this turns out. And this is an adaptation from a Southern Living recipe. I have made just a few changes to it, but nothing super major though. All right, let's gather our ingredients and get started. Okay, so for ingredients, you are going to need some rosemary, some thyme, sage is another great addition. I just don't happen to have any right now. Some salt, a bay leaf. You're gonna need some chicken leg quarters, some carrots. The recipe calls for three, I'm using four. And I just kind of grabbed a handful of celery because we really like celery in my house. And we've got the leek, two boxes of chicken broth, which comes out to about four cups, and then a little bit of lemon juice. Later on, I will also add some noodles to this. Okay, so to get started, I am just prepping everything here by cutting up my vegetables. I'm cutting up the leek, the carrots, and the celery. Okay, once those veggies are prepped, we can start putting ingredients in the crock pot. So starting with those chicken leg quarters, I placed those in, and then I added all of those vegetables that I just chopped. I also forgot to mention a moment ago, garlic. So that's two garlic cloves that are smashed and peeled. All right, next I'm gonna add my herbs. I've got a couple of sprigs of rosemary and a little handful of thyme. Lastly, one bay leaf, and now I'm ready to add in those two boxes of chicken broth, which equals about eight cups. Okay, and the last little bit for now is just to add some salt to this. Okay, so now that's just gonna sit back there in the crock pot for six hours on low. And at that point, I'll jump back in, do a few more things so we can get it ready to go on the table for dinner. So I'll see you guys in a few moments when it's six hours later for me. Okay, so it is the evening now and I am ready to finish up this soup. So what I'm gonna do now is pull the chicken out, take off the skin and the bones, separate that from the meat. Then I will put the meat back into the pot along with a bag of wide egg noodles. And then I'm gonna cook all of that on high for about 15 to 20 minutes, just until those noodles are tender and we'll be ready to serve our soup.
All right, and dinner is over. We all enjoyed the soup. It was super delicious. Who knew you could make soup in a crock pot like that? Well, now this girl knows. So yes, we will definitely be doing this one again. Only next time I'm gonna put in more leeks. Okay, and with that, we're gonna go ahead and call this video a close. I hope that you guys enjoyed these crock pot recipes. Please let me know if you try any of these at home. I would love to hear that, or let me know which one you are thinking about trying at home. All right, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and the bell so you get all of your notifications. I would love to see you here again. And with that, I'm gonna end the video. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload. Mother of three. And today I'm going to be cooking up my favorite crock pot meals. No. <laughs> That was funny. I hope that you okay. enjoyed these crock pot recipes that I shared with you today. Please let me know if you try making any of these at home. I would, honey, can you, you're chewing really loudly. Can you give me just one second?